songs that wasn't there when we began was the Queen Jane. The Death of Queen Jane is an archetypal, I don't know if it's a child ballad or what, it's hundreds of years old. And uh, it became, it morphed into a lot of other songs in a way. Dylan had Queen Jane approximately. Lou Reed had Sweet Jane. In this case, we wanted to do a predecessor to both of those. A predecessor, so we were working backwards in history now. We would go from Lou Reed to Bob Dylan, now to Lou and Davis, and how did he do the Queen Jane song? He would have done it much closer to the child ballad, much more purely, more, you know, he wouldn't have reinvented as much. He would reinvent it a little bit, and he did it mostly with his guitar playing, more than the lyrics or the vibe. You know, he just put this beautiful piece down. Play a very important, historically important character. He transformed the folk singing business into a multi-million dollar industry when it was nothing. He was a visionary, but he was also a prick. A prick in the business of pricks. Look, I'm putting together a trio, two guys and a girl singer. You're no front guy, but if you can cut that down to a goatee, stay out of the sun, we might see how your voice works with the other two. You comfortable with harmonies? No.